What is up, Wolfpack? I am Shadow the Werewolf, and today I'm giving my. Come on. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get comfortable. There's a pillow under me. So today I am discussing Lucifer Season 1, Episode 1. My first impression, my absolute just admiration, and everything else. So, uh, spoiler alert! So, I guess you could call this a review, but I don't, I wouldn't call it that just because of the series. Um, first impression of this. I, I watched all the trailers. It didn't give away anything what, which I loved. It sure, it had a few scenes, but it didn't give much away from the plot of the shows. And it's a real supernatural feel to it. Uh, at least how the episodes are laid out, like, oh, uh, Lucifer and Chloe. First off, don't sit there, the names are not part of the spoilers, if you guys just want to hear the basics, but Lucifer and Chloe kind of go like, oh, today we're doing this scenario, and then next episode we do this, go through this scenario, and even though it's progression, you're gonna have, like, layouts such as, like, Supernatural had, but anyways, the first episode, first thing I gotta admit, it's the best soundtrack I have ever heard, I've recently gotten to watching Arrow and Flash, and those are incredibly good. Lucifer blew them both out of the water, in my opinion. I know, for all you DC commenters, they didn't stay accurate to the comics, I don't think, with Arrow or Lucifer. I, 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 I don't know how accurate... From what, I, from what I've watched, they stayed accurate to Flash, pretty much. With the reverse Flash and all that, that was fun. Um, but you can't ask a show to go with complete comic authenticity. Lucifer, Tom Ellis was a perfect choice, but let me go ahead and give you the review. Um, so, it starts with Lucifer Morningstar, or, and first off, there may be spoilers, like I said, um, this isn't a summary, this is just a first impression, and oh my god, just, it's just so incredible. The, the soundtrack is what blew me away right away, because... First off, I'm glad they didn't waste time on a backstory where they showed, like, Lucifer ruling over hell or up in heaven. I'm glad they skipped over that because it makes sense, okay? We know what happened. We've all heard the story. Lucifer went against God's rules. He got cast into hell. And, you know, he bored and unhappy with his life. He got out of hell. He bribes this cop in the first scene. And, oh, it's just awesome. And the song that was playing on his radio was... Ain't no rest for the wicked. And that's like one of my favorite songs of all time. I had that as a ringtone for six years in total. And just an alert too. And oh my god, it was just so good. So cheesily good. The acting was great by Lucifer and Chloe along with the therapist. Uh, I, I really, really genuinely am start have been starting to love just kind of the like sexual appeal between Lucifer and the therapist. I find it extremely funny where she comments on him but can barely contain herself from jumping on him. That's, that's what the real guy's like. I mean, everyone everyone kind of wants to bone him. Or maybe the real reason he got kicked out of heaven, you know. Maybe God was like, I, I, I know it's against my will, but could I possibly tap that? Nope. Hell. But in all seriousness, the series is awesome. Lilin is a really funny actor. All the sexual scenes, all the drinking. The fact that, oh, Benadryl. Uh, Benazil, Benadryl, Zemadryl. I'm not sure how exactly how that's pronounced, but oh my god. He was so cool at the end. I, I, I personally usually love the bad guy, but I love Lucifer more because in this instance, it's, I, I, this is how it goes. I like the villain middle. I love the anti-hero the most, but I love the villain middle, so I love Benadryl. Um, I hope we get some type of God and Michael cameo, because that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, Benadryl, I really, really like him. He's definitely a middle character. Um, if I'd say one character I really didn't like all that much, it was, uh, it was actually, you know what, no, I liked her too, I just wish... I just wish there was a bit of a flashback for a second with uh, her, you know, the actress that gets killed. But yeah, the series is amazing. And 
my first impression of it is just great. You know, it shows Lucifer learning these things, starting to feel these dynamics. It just shows him also making people experience guilt, uh, and even using his demonic powers in the end because he believes people deserve to be punished. And oh my God, it's just so amazing and accurate and beautiful and gorgeous. And I can't wait for next Monday. Now, this entire series, I can promise you, no doubt in my mind, that there will be a video every time the series happens. Every episode, there will be at least one video after three days or less when this happens. But that's all for me. So if you like this video, bite the living shit out of the like button. Why there? Slash that subscribe button from me to you to the full moon. Ow!